All right, guys, welcome back. It is Lazy Shen once again. Good to see ya. Good to see ya. Good to see ya. Welcome in. Welcome in. <laughs> and in true me fashion, well, I only have about an hour or so to record this because I have to dip out right afterwards, but. <laughs> Hello, welcome in. It is episode 3 of the AI The Somnium Files. So without delay, we're gonna get right into it today. Uh, loading the game of where we left off yesterday, which is gonna be at the talent agency uh, Lemonis Gate. <laughs> <laughs> or however you pronounce it. Good to see you guys. Welcome in. Hopefully you're comfortable already. Catch yourselves a little bit of a drink. Something or rather. We're, we're jumping right into it. Last we found out that the murderer or a suspect in the murder uh, who was there at the crime scene was in fact a, a simp for VTubers. <laughs> Specifically one in in particular whose name is probably Aset. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe Aset is a group. Maybe it's a person. We're getting right into it, okay? Let's go. Here we go. That's it. Correct. So we're here now. This is the boy. His name is... Are you Ota Matsushita? Ota Matsushita, that's right. Who are you? Who are you? I showed him my badge. I'm from the MPD. <laughs> I'm here to arrest you. The police? Yeah, it's the police. Who is this guy? He is on his laptop. Immediately after I, I told him I'm from the police, he goes right back to his geek laptop. As you can see, it's covered in a Captain America sticker. A blue Umbrella Corp sticker. A red <laughs> Apple App Store sticker. A bunch of random stuff. Let's see, what do we have around here? A lot of stuff. A large window. Paint. A p paint. A, a a plant. A plant. Date, Good. look! Ants! Ants! Look at them go! Yay! <laughs> what, what? You need to have a discussion about your obsession with insects. Yeah, and like crustaceans, right? A plant. So there's like ants in the plant. It must be an ant plant then. That's usually where the ants live inside the plant. So far. So far a sofa. It's a sofa. So far, it's a so, so far a sofa. An abstract painting uh, hung up. What is that supposed to be? Looks like a. I don't know. I do not know. <laughs> I don't know either. What is this? It maybe look. It looks like a town. It looks like a town, like you know, during the winter time. You know, at, at Christmas. You know, the, the lights and the whatever. There is an abstract, incomprehensible painting hung up. Okay, cool. Logo. Welcome to the company's logo, Lemon Lemon Skate. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce the word. For reception desk. It's the reception desk. Receptionist. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting behind. Oh my god. How do you see that from there? I, I can't see anything. There's a receptionist with huge breasts. Huge breasts. Breasts. There are huge breasts sitting behind the desk. <laughs> Holy fucking hell. What is this game, dude? What the fuck? A low table in front of the sofa. Hey, Iba. What do you think would happen if I flipped this table over right now? Uh, you'd probably get yelled at. It would come out of your salary. That's also true. Yeah, you're probably right. Guess I won't. Why would you even, like, think to do that in the first place? Oh, there's so much stuff back here. Holy shit, hold on. A low table in front of a sofa. Plant high table. It's a high table. That high is stool. a high stool. That is a high stool. A high school. A high school. <laughs> Dude, this game is like just the the dialogue in this game is is so like nonsensical, but like it gets me like every time. No, Date. <laughs> a high school. There's a there's a high stools. There are high stools around the table. Door, a door. There's probably an office back there. Monitor. Yo, her legs are out. Promotional videos of the agency's talents are playing. Nothing dirty though. This isn't that kind of company. <laughs> are you sure? This is like semi-risque. I would say softcore. Some of it. I'm sure. I'm sure. Like yeah, if I let it play, there'll be some softcore. Okay, just as it seems like as far as it goes, it's like swimwear, which is not what I was expecting. 
a vending machine full of drinks. Okay. These porn mags. A lot of magazines in the rack. Let's see, how to take a girl home in just two minutes. I think I'll take a look at that. Lots of magazines in the rack. Okay, so it seems like, uh, luckily this is like a pretty bare bones office. Anything on the roof? Nothing on the roof it seems. Usually the roof has some like, maybe, like one off things. But luckily this is kind of like a, a very, other than Ota, which is like, you know, probably the main focus here. A very like, minimalistic, modern, modernly decorated office. So there's not much like, it's, it's all repeating objects. Oh, does laptop? Can I reach over and break that thing in half? I agree. If you can pay for the damages. Damn it. Damn, I can't break anything here. Oda's laptop. Okay, let's on to Oda. What are you typing there? What are you typing? Hmm? Nothing. Okay. Shut up, nothing. Could you stop bothering me, please? What can you tell me about last night? Last night? Don't play dumb, kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m. You called the police from a payphone. Yes, we know. You, you told them about screaming about you. you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. Wow, this kid is, uh... He's got some counsel, like, legal advice. All right, Ota, look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. Do you have a warrant? Article 2-3 of the Execution of Law Enforcement Code. Yeah, it is. Unless that initiated anymore. by legal process, no person shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. Oh my god, he's, he's one of these kids. You just need to, add, like, whoop his ass a little bit, and he'll talk to you. This is the type of kid I hate most. This is the type of kid that know that thinks they know the law after reading two articles. Could you look at me? No, I'm kind of busy right now. Wait, what? You're you're on you're on your four chans, huh? You're on your four chans typing away. Oh, do not even look in my direction? He's typing. Oh, let's let, let's reel him in here. Let's reel him in here by talking about his favorite idol. Fan of Aset. How did you know that? Because I'm psychic. <laughs> you're also at the Excuse agency. Excuse me. You're at the agency. Punch him. <laughs> Punch him. Date, wait. Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary Fuck. action. I can't punch him. Then what should I do? I have an idea. Give me a moment. Okay. Uh, bribe him with some, like, you know, limited edition A set merch. Kick him. I told you to wait. <laughs> okay, fine. Waiting's just pissing me off more. Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. Dosage of what? 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 Listen to me, Date. Huh? I'm drugged every day? Ota's PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. Oh, we just turn off the Wi-Fi. And? I was curious, so I hacked into it. Ah, we can see his search history. Oh my god, this he's talking to seven to people. Asa? He's talking to 17,000 people at once. What the two witter? It's two witter. Okay. Matsushita. Okay, Mato. This is Oda Matsushita. Go for it. I have had sex with a million times by now. Invincible Rainbow. She's nice and cute, amazing on stage. I was kidding. I'm virgin. I'm not ashamed to say it. One thing I'm undying my love is for A said. Never think about she's even sacred. Tessa. I know everything about Tessa. Pongo Ponko. She's volunteered. How does he type so fast? He's the optical fiber protein. Tessa's lucky. Honestly, Tessa doesn't talk about things in public. Thanks for telling me it's straight. I feel like I can, I can be more of an A set fan now. Dude, what is happening? But I, I see this guy has um, I see this guy has uh, what is this? He's following two thousand accounts and he has twenty four followers. I, I see that about you now. <laughs> a young, up-and-coming, super genius author, multi-award winning, Tessa's future husband. Ooh, ooh ah. <laughs> That is a popular fan nickname for her. Tessa is a sad, okay? That means motto has to be Ota. Well, yeah, we figured that out by his- did you see- did you read his fucking handle? Correct. However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. Wait, what? Damn, he's he's operating he's operating Pongo Ponko optical protein fiber and his main account just to promote Tessa. What? Optical protein fiber. 
Pongo Ponko, and KG are all Ota's subaccounts. He, he, he switches between all of them. Ota is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. What the fuck? This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet or false flagging. That is crazy. Ota Matsushita gained 12 followers. Maybe it's the other way around. This kid is pathetic. He's farming followers right now. That's crazy. Hey, kid. Oh. Hey, kid. What do you want? <laughs> all right. All right, Oda. Let's, let's, let's fucking tangle. I'm gonna tell Aset. Tell her what? Tell her what? That you're false like on the internet and you're pretending to be five different people. That you're sock puppeting for her on two witter. Uh, 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 what are you talking about? You're, you're not even trying to hide your screen, though. Like, I could've just, like, looked over your shoulder and figured that one out. You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? That's not how that works. I, I literally could just check your uh, search history or like Optical whatever. protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub accounts. What? How do you know that? You shouldn't have said that one, buddy. I told you, kid. I'm psychic. Now, I have some quick. <sighs> Fine. Okay. Good. Well, we, we managed to get into him. Uh, n not that way. All right, why are you here? Oh. I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. This is an office building, not a concert hall. Exactly. This is the main facility of Lemniscate Entertainment's Lemniscate. production branch. There are multiple studios for recording not and lemon. broadcasting not, in not this Lemniscate. building. Tessa is recording a podcast today. Okay, and did, did I ask? When are you the fake accounts? Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. But if she doesn't see it, she won't know that I'm protecting her. Dude, you, man. Don't you think all those comments hurt her feelings, even if you defend her? But yeah. in the end, I made it so everyone became her fans and got along and... That's not the point. That's not the point at all. It's, it's hate comments. Also, it's weird. <sighs> I'm sorry. Just don't do it again. Nobody hates a set, so... <laughs> it seems like you're the only person I'm gonna who's ask you comments. again. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around 9? Y yes. So why were you at Bloom Park around 9? Why were you in the area? <laughs> no way. No fucking way, Date. I, um... You better tell me, or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary oh, enemies. Oh, I got some blackmail. Hey, everyone. Uh, this guy... Okay, okay, I'll talk, <laughs> uh, just... this guy... <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's dig into him right now. We have him on the ropes. I went to Bloom Park... ...because I was supposed to meet someone. Meet someone? Did you enter the park? Yes. So who were you meeting? A girl named Mizuki Okiura. Mizuki Okiura. What did you say? You were here to meet my... Best friend's daughter in the park at night? Mizuki Okiyura? She's the daughter of the president of Lemniscate. Oh, that's you right, because he owns this place. Yeah, I know her. Interesting. Interesting. How do you. Uh, you must have, like, wormed your way, right? She's just a friend. I see. Yes, yeah, she better be. What? <laughs> Why do you care? Where and how did you two meet? <laughs> he's really protective of his. Fr oh my god, dude! He's like he's like the cranky uncle. Um, here that nobody the likes. The lobby. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. I was talking to Tessa one day, and she just comes up like, "Hey." When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. You say it like you're dating somebody, but it's not true. Don't call it a relationship. Well, what am I supposed to call just it? Just call it a friendship, like everybody else. <laughs> How do you know Mizui? Just give me the info, please. Anyway, I have her look over my work sometimes. Work? I write light novels. Oh, you write light novels at the age of 12? Really? What's your pen name? Oduin Kyoma. Oduin that Kyoma. Is that is Database a lie. Database searches reveal no professional authors have ever submitted work under that name. Hey, Ota. How about you stop lying to me? My third eye can see through your bullshit. Oh, I mean, technically it's a second eye, but I'll give it to you. Uh, well, I'm not a 
self-published author. Ah, uh, you write doujins at the ripe age that you are? I'm an aspiring author to okay, be exact. Okay, thank god. Thank god, I'm not dealing with some weird shit right now. So, anyway, Mizuki reads my novels. I, I get notes and advice from her. Thank from god. a sixth grader? She's surprisingly insightful. Mm -hmm. She has the talent to be an editor for sure. I see. So... Around 8.10 last please. night, I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. Mizuki wanted to meet you at Bloom Park? Is she, so she sets you up, basically. She sounded scared. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? We all know that, yes. I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. <laughs> you? But why Bloom Park? Someone messaged her on Nile. Nile. Like Nile a silk road. is a popular messaging oh, application it's line. for smartphones and it's, PCs. I was like, this is like some d like deep web, dark web shit. It's it's fucking line. What did they say? She didn't tell me exactly, but it said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park tonight. I Who see. sent it? I don't know. But Mizuki was determined to go. <laughs> Man, this is this is turning out to be terrible. What happened next? I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. You went into the park, and then you split up. Oh wait, he was right here at the crime scene. <laughs> huh? <laughs> so he witnessed it, he saw? Huh? That account is terrible for you, Oda. Then you, you left her there. So, oh fuck. Did you leave her there? Oda. You left a 12 year old girl by herself? I didn't mean to. I was panicking. People do stupid things when they're in fight or flight mode. Yeah, and turns out you only know how to flight mode. Like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. What? Jeez, you're a real hero, kid. See, cool, I knew you would make fun of me. No, of course I would. Look at you. This is why I didn't want to tell you. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? You seriously didn't think we'd find you? Mizuki would have told us everything. I didn't think she would. Why wouldn't she? She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like me, her roommate would kill her. Because she has roommates? Good girl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's me. I'm the roommate. That's amazing. Why did you use a payphone? I tried using my cell phone at first, but my heart was pounding and I was scared and my hand was shaking. So you dropped your cell phone and broke it. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my hand. Did it fall into a sewer grate? You dropped it? Yeah, right into a puddle. Iba, oh, I see. can you trace the last signal that Ota's phone sent out? Near Bloom Park, just past 9 p.m. The phone has not been turned on since. I guess he's telling the truth. I see. His phone broke in a puddle. I've never seen that hey, happen Ota, anybody. Hey, Ota, what are you doing? Oh, shit. Tessa! Tessa. So this is a set. Oh, God, she's an anime girl. <laughs> she's a VTuber. But in real life... And you are? I'm the police. Mr. Date from the MPD. He came here to ask me about what happened last night. What is you happening? You mean a detective? Oh, God. Oh, no. Wow! Uh, uh, oh, no. I've never met a real detective before. <laughs> I look really sick for a detective, though. I won't lie to you. I look like the coolest detective in the fucking planet. I don't know why I'm giving her, like, the fucking meme mug, though. Okay. So now Aced is here. Date, your adrenaline level is rising. Something's happening with me seeing her face. Is something the matter? No. Nothing. Hmm. That's weird. Okay, but now I have Aced and Oda here. Let's talk to Oda first. About Aced. Gee, Tessa. You always look so cute. <laughs> wow. Way to hold yourself back. So, so cute. Okay. The... So cute that I can't take it. You gotta lay it off, bro. This is weird. Don't you think so too, I'm a, Date? I'm a third... This is uncomfortable for me as a third party to witness this. You're awfully familiar with her. I can't help it. Her loving aura is in the air. 
When I'm with her, I just... My head gets all light, and I just relax and don't sweat the small stuff, you know? Dude, this is... Uh, I do know, but... <laughs> you don't, it's okay, bro. You, you, can, you can relax. What is looking at ASAT? Well, not really a look, more like a gawk or like an enrapturement gaze. But Shoku Nadam, whatever. You know who this is, right? This yeah, is the girl, it's yeah. It's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Her name is Shoku Nadami. I saw it on the news. Wait. Do you not know who her daughter is? <laughs> did you? Oh, did you not understand the situation? Then <laughs> she has a daughter. Oh no, he doesn't know that. Uh, he doesn't know. I didn't know that either. They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. I see. Maybe because her last name is different. Yeah, I mean, because she changed her last name after they divorced. Nadami and Okiura. Although they do look very similar. It has also not yet been reported that Shoko is Renju's ex-wife. I see. So they don't know. Did you talk to her about last night? Discover oh. Okay, let's um. see. It's really convenient. I heard about it. It's really convenient that, um... <laughs> you know, what, what, Aiba can just bring up, like, flashbacks of last night's memories. About Ota seeing that corpse at Bloom Park? He told me. He told you that? Really? Why would yes, you? Huh? Oh, no. Why didn't you come to the police? So, uh, I mean, at least Tess has, like, a, you know... <laughs> Tessa has a very, is very compliant and has a loose mouth. Such a shocking story would certainly pique the young woman's interest. Makes my detective work easy. It is possible Ota wanted her attention. I agree. He told her about a dead body he found for attention? <laughs> of course. Date, you're behind Actually, the Actually, I already knew about it before Ota told me. What? How? It's yeah. all over the internet. When I saw Ota this morning, I asked him about it. Oh, I, I see. He told me he saw the body. I see. I was like, oh, I, I thought I thought it meant she was there beforehand. I was just gazing at Asa. Hmm? Something wrong? I'm just looking at your, you know, I'm trying to analyze you. That's what detectives do. Stop. Don't give me a dialogue option. You aren't even blinking. Come on, I'm shy. You're embarrassing me. I will embarrass you. Uh, just give me a... D d don't look at me like that. Just give me like a description here. That's all I'm uh, looking for. Oh, are you... Are you a fan of mine? I don't know who you are, actually. Okay, now... You can stop... St this is this is the breakdown tactic. I break her down by staring at her, making her uncomfortable, and then she'll be too flustered to, you know... Withhold information. I should stop staring at her. She'll think I'm crazy. <laughs> okay, is this okay? There's no new dialogue. Okay, I love that you can like these are like there's like ways to there's a lot of like hidden dialogue if you just keep pushing it. Let me confirm something. You're a set, right? <laughs> Let's play a game. Shadows. Is it the one where you step onto the shadows? Um, thread, silhouette, a set. Fears. Thread, silhouette, ASAT. Uh, upset, regret, ASAT. Mm, water. Wet, sweat, ASAT. What? Why is ASAT in every category? <laughs> Yay! ASAT, you bet! ASAT, you bet, that's like your catchphrase. The magnetic currents in the atmosphere are clearly causing aberrant behavior. We should leave. <laughs> we should leave at, at once. once. Something is. I, I, what is shadows? Huh? How old are you? I turned 18 this year. Turned 18. A senior in high school? Yep. Date, I recommend you keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> no, I didn't ask for her age for that reason. Don't worry. I'm not gonna make a move. What? Oh. Wait, you were gonna make a move on me? <laughs> oh god, Ota. Mizuki Okiura? Yeah, I am! Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter. I guess so... like I guess like if you were like the daughter of a major multi corporate like multi million corporation, like you'd prob like that does idol talent, you'd probably be like 
in the know at least about all of the idols, even if you didn't like them. We hang out sometimes. Is that how you became friends? There's more to it than that, but... <laughs> Basically. Mizuki and I live under the same roof, but she doesn't tell me about her personal life. She doesn't tell me much about anything, come to think of it. I'm totally in the dark. So, Mizuki must come here to hang out sometimes. I guess it makes sense, though. Huh. That's not what I wanted. What's your relationship with Oda? Relationship? We're like a goddess in a summon thrall. Okay, buddy. Her thrall? You're her thrall. <laughs> if Tessa ever gets in trouble, I swoop in and protect her. Just like how you ran away from the dead body yesterday, yeah? <laughs> you sound more like a superhero than a thrall. Okay, stop stroking Oda his ego. always defends me when I'm getting bashed online. Oh. Stop. You're making me blush. This guy. This guy. Okay, A said. Hey, let me tell you something. It's about those posts on Twitter. Oh, oh, oh Oda, you better Wait. play nice now. Huh? You better play nice now, Oda. Huh. Looks like you're my thrall now. <laughs> Under my control. Isn't that right, Ota? Isn't that right, Oda? Ooh. Yeah, just be cool. I'll be cool. Hey, don't worry, dude. We're leaving. Don't worry, Oda. We're leaving. Date, I have determined that these two have no further information for us. Our goal is to find the murderer of Shoko Nadami. Let us continue. So they have nothing for me, so I I'm just gonna dipset it. Right. Let's head back to the crime scene. Thanks, guys, mm -hmm. you useless. Hmm? See you kids later. Um, where are you going? I'm going to do work as a detective. I'm going to be a police guy. <laughs> you know, as police do. I have my job, you have yours. Back to where the corpse was found. In I... that case, I'll go with you. No, you won't. No, you won't. You'll what? Please take me with you. She's like a morbid curiosity for dead bodies. Why? Because I want to know more about what happened. Oh, do you God. have any suspects? <laughs> you, buddy. N now I have you as a suspect. Probably some crazy murderer. That's what Ota was telling me. The corpse was strung up on that merry-go-round. It must have been some kind of twisted message. Bro, I'm... I'm having like an aneurysm. Ota, take a video. Take a video? Yeah. Just do it. Okay, here we go. Hello, my name is Ace. Mr. Dante! <gasps> Please, Mr. Dante! You can't leave me! What? I can't imagine life without you! What are you doing? No shot! Ota, did you get it? Oh, you oh, uh, cunt. Yeah. Oh, you little rapscallion motherfucker. Oh, wait, who are your parents? Who are your parents? I'ma find you. I'ma find your parents? <laughs> I'm gonna threaten you. Oh, your life is in danger, sir. Are you something wrong? No, not at all. I'm just imagining your body sinking into Tokyo Bay. Huh. <laughs> I'm used to sinking. Part of the job. Huh? Ooh! Sinking into Tokyo Bay. Ah! Oh, they're staring daggers at me. That's very cool. What are you, okay. I said it's rather inappropriate smile on her face, given the circumstances. Anything else? The receptionist. Okay, she's, she's not thinking a damn thing in her fucking brain. <laughs> That's good for me. Um, okay. All right, Aset, what do you want? Mr. Date, you are a member of the MPD, aren't you? I wonder, what would happen if this little video happened to go viral? You wouldn't. You wouldn't. Oh, and just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. <laughs> uh, okay. You little... What are you doing? The receptionist saw the whole thing. I told you. 
It's also on the the video footage in the lobby. Plus, I have a I literally have a, a witness. I have two witnesses and a video of the whole. This doesn't work for you, Asa. I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. Date. A thought has occurred to me. She really is quite the seductress. That's not a thought that you should have. I, I don't want this. I don't want... Can you help me, receptionist? <laughs> There's a receptionist with huge breasts. Mm, I guess I have no choice. I have no choice but to take her to Bloom Park. It seems. Okay, sure, whatever. Let's drive. Ugh. All right, Ace, talk to me. Um, Mr. Date, shouldn't you keep your eyes on the road? Uh, oh, can you not tell that only one eye is moving? To look at Don't it. Don't worry about it. I'm a professional. Oh, I wish, I wish it would have shown that one eye was like off to the side. That would have been so good. Ace is sitting in the passenger seat. Okay, nothing, no new dialogue. Questions. Questions. This is your chance, yeah. Ah, what's it like being a detective? Wouldn't uh, know much about that. I'm not a detective. Mm-hmm. But you are a cop, right? <laughs> oh, shit. You don't know about me. Right. Right. I do work for the police. But I'm not on the crimes unit. Then what unit are you in? I'm on the super secret, look very hot and sexy, cool Batman unit with a glass eye that also is an AI. It's like having your own personal Alfred. I'm basically Batman. What indeed? You aren't gonna tell me? Please! <laughs> you have to, you have to, <laughs> you have to fabricate another blackmail video for that one. One request per blackmail video. What are you doing? Just thinking about posting that video. Well, then I'll just turn the car around. Whoa, whoa, hold up now. Date, you can't get flustered. Well, then this. tell me. You can't do this, Date. About Ota. Why do you ask? You two are very close for an idol and a fan. It's very parasocial, I would say. Ota is special. He really is like a hero to me. Hero, huh? Hero, huh? Interesting. What about Mizuki? We're good friends. Good. We go to movies and karaoke and go shopping together. Hmm, normal life stuff. She's really good at listening to me bitch and moan about my problems. Bitch and moan about your problems. I'm so much older than her, but it really doesn't even feel like it. Interesting. <laughs> you bitch and moan about your problems to a 12-year-old? Well, I guess it was because I've always wanted to be famous, you know? That, that's... yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to be famous. Get on TV. Be a household name. Honestly, good on you to live your dreams. But you're not there yet. It's all right. Internet stars do better if they don't sell out. That's true. Internet star? Ota didn't tell you? I'm most famous on the internet. <laughs> I'm most famous on the interwebs. You wouldn't know anything about that old man. I do songs and dances and play video games and stuff on stream. She really is like a VTuber. Have you heard of Shovel Forge? Shovel Forge. Shovel Forge is a game in which you manipulate cubes on the terrain to build structures. Oh, Minecraft. I've been focusing a lot on that so game. It took lately. me like way too long to figure that one out. What about being on TV? I'm not very popular yet. I can only get on TV as a background singer or something. I don't get many gigs either. Hmm, interesting. How did you start working for Lemonsgate? Well, at first, all I did was stream from home. Mm. And then, not to sound cocky, but I started getting pretty big. Not to get cocky. I started getting offers from agencies. But I'm kind of a big deal on Twitch.tv. Oh, I'm sorry, on, uh, what is it like? <laughs> to Twitch.tv on fucking flinch. flinch.web. And one of them was Lemniscate? Well, not exactly. Huh? My mom's actually an old friend of the president of the agency. Oh, you got in from connections, I see. A friend of Renju's? Your yeah. mom is a friend of Renju's. Your mom is a friend of Renju's? Huh? So I asked him for advice one day. You know, you have to be careful. 
Even a place that looks legitimate with an office and everything can be sketchy. Uh, that's true, though. And my mom and I didn't know anything about the industry at all. Anyway, one day, Mr. Okiura said to come see him at his office, and he hooked me up. Hmm. Very interesting. You know, now that I think about it, wouldn't you get in trouble for that video, too? I agree. What? The video. You're an idol, right? You have a status to maintain. Yeah, you can't, you can't be touching up to somebody and getting yourself cuffed. You'll lose all your, you lose all your pair of social fans. If that video went viral, I think you'd be in trouble too. It's okay. Uh, it is? Because sometime real soon? <laughs> yeah, you have like a terminal disease or something? Are you, are you like trying to get as big as possible and like live your dream because you only have like two days to live? I'm going to die. Oh, for real, actually. What? <laughs> can you play the music I back, can please? I see into the future. Oh my god. I know when I'm going to die. Give me a date. <laughs> Just kidding! I hope so. Thank anyway, god I'm not going down without a fight. So I will release that video if you don't cooperate. Okay, you're a fool. I'm part of a special investigation unit known as Abyss. Date! I don't have a choice. What's Abyss? Abyss is your mom. Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. I investigate brains. Public doesn't know about it. Wow, cool! Don't tell anyone. I promise I won't. I swear to the Egyptian goddess Isis. Why Isis? Ask him for a real- yeah, give me your real name, A-Set. It better not be like, A-Seto or some stupid shit like that. By the way, I didn't catch your name. You really want to know? It's okay if you don't want to tell me. Iris! Uh, famed VTuber Iris Ugyan? Iris Sagan. Iris Sagan. I know, weird, right? It, it's kind of weird. But it means something to me. Iris is my kid? Poke it! Fill it with fruit! Mm hmm? Something wrong? Iris is my child! <laughs> her, her mother is my wife. Th that's how she- that's how she knows Renju! <laughs> I, uh, Iris? Uh, <laughs> Hello? Iris is my kid? Who am I? My last name is Sagan? Dante Sagan? No. It's nothing. Uh, uh or perhaps I'm uh, still just an uncle. Please. <laughs> but either way, the, what am I like a was I like a, a kindergarten teacher in my past life? What? This is so this is this complicates too many things. This is so bad. Um... Ah... You... Excuse me. You Konami Date? So Konami Date is not my real name. Or maybe Iris, but... Because uh, Iris Sagan is her name, and it means something to me. Which means Konami Date is not my real name. I, I could be like something something Sagan, yeah? That's right. Who's this edgy cop? And the girl? And the girl is my assistant. She's an important witness for this case. Yep, yep. We've got business here. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> he, he just flouted right over. That's crazy. There's a lot of policemen here. Just like chilling. You get paid just to stand still. I just couldn't hold herself back. Oh god, it's the it's the 999 classic uh siren noise that makes you like feel terrible about yourself. Play it again. Oh, oh, do I get to hear it? Oh, maybe not. But yeah, the music is very similar to like the the Zero Escape series stuff. Iris couldn't hold back her excitement and rushed into the scene. 
Oh, there's so much stuff. Please, man. A local cop. Okay, fence. There's a fence in the merry-go-round. Okay, parasol. A parasol. Everything else seems like normal. A local cop. A local cop. Why? How come I can look at that? Oh, this one I can talk to. That's why. Mr. Date, that horse. That horse is skewered. That was stored in the warehouse nearby. Some kids must have broken in and put it up as a joke. Mm hmm. Skewered horse. A merry-go-round horse skewered upside down. It looks pathetic. Okay. Sky a cityscape. Kabasaki district buildings in the distance. Barrier. Holographic caution tape. It's red instead of yellow, it seems. It's bench. Okay, cool. I would burn all those damn benches if I could. <laughs> They're probably uncomfortable. Where is this anger coming They're from? They're uncomfortable benches. You ever sat one of these? They're terrible. Oh, it's for couples. That's why. Because I'm single as a Pringle. Is that a phone booth? Yep, it's a phone booth. No, it's the control room. This is where the staff would run the merry-go-round. Have you never been in society before? I was joking. Oh. Okay, so... Okay. Okay. But hey, if you sense any trouble, you can hop in there and change. If you sense any trouble? How old are you, making that reference? What the fuck? Dude, she's like 70. I suspect that she did not give you her real age, knowing what a phone booth is. Yeah. She's... Hmm. I guess they don't have like that, that media here anymore. Is that, a, is that a style? Now everything's about idols? <laughs> no, no more movies. Reminds me of a giant eyeball staring down at me. Still the same as usual. Roof. Column. Last night I found Mizuki inside the central column. Why was she sat in there? Yeah, why did she sit in there? Horse. Okay, hold on. Before we zoom, before we zoom into the thing, let's take a look at the pole. A metal uh, pole. Uh, uh. I know what you're thinking, Mr. Date. You wanted to see me dance on that pole, huh? Dude, no one is even talking to you, Iris. Can you just shut up for three seconds? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> A metal pole. Okay, policeman, let's talk to... How's the investigation going? It's not looking too great. It's not looking too great. We searched all over here, but we didn't find nothing. Really? Hmm. All right, I guess I look at the horse. Also, A said has, oh, Iris. Well, look last night, Shoko's corpse was on top of the horse. It has been removed. The body has been transported to headquarters for autopsy and review. Yeah, I, I want to know when she died. That's kind of important. Zoom in on the horse. Shoko's corpse was tied up here. Wait a second. Iba, can you show me the earliest recorded images of the scene of the crime? What is your intention? Something different? Shoko's cause of death was blood loss from multiple stab wounds with the ice pick. So there's- but there's no- there's no blood on the horse. Naturally, there should be plenty of blood. Agreed. But there isn't a single drop on the horse, and it was like this when we found it. So she was killed and moved here, like post-mortem. Correct. There are no signs of blood being wiped or washed off, either. That must mean... Hmm. <laughs> Zoom in. Give me another look. There's no blood on the horse. This must mean... Just say what you mean, now loud, please. Alright, Iris, what are you doing? I was trying to find some clues. Yeah, but you're not good at this job. She's a natural detective, huh? Mm-hmm. Mr. Date, was the body on top of this horse here? Yeah, that's the one. Hmm... Seems like some kind of ritual murder to me. <laughs> Someone... Uh, I, Iris been Iris been eating up the true crime podcast. It seems maybe a religious cult sacrificing her to the devil or something. They conducted their ritual here. It is like a you know it it, it does seem like a what do you call it? Le je ne sais quoi. Like they have a like method. shadowy hooded figures going around and around. I don't know about the devil part though. Stabbing her one by one. But then there'll be blood everywhere. That's quite an imagination. But, do you have any proof? I do! Well, let's hear it. <laughs> let's hear the proof. I do want to hear it, actually. The horses. Horse? H horse means... Sounds kind of like Horus, right? You just only know about Egyptian mytho mythos? What are you talking about? You don't know Horus? 
Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. Mm -hmm. The left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. True. It's the same idea behind the eye of Providence. The eye of Providence? The all-seeing eye. The Illuminati eye. Oh, I see. Just like what's on the back of a $1 bill. Yeah, exactly. The Eye of Prominence is supposed to be the symbol of Freemasonry in the Illuminati. Oh, boy. Starting to see the picture? Oh, boy. Not really. All right, Iris. I remember Ota describing the scene. She had one he eye jab. there up. was an ice pick stabbed into the corpse's left eye socket. Mm -hmm. Horus? Providence? Left eye? There has to be some kind of meaning to this. That's true. Wait, what did you just say? What? The ice pick was inside the victim's left eye socket? Yeah. Ota told you that? He's sure that's what he saw. Oh, this is new info for me. Because when we got here, the, the, the pick was gone and she had it in her hand. Yeah. Why? When we arrived at the scene, the ice pick was not in the victim's yeah. eye socket. If Ota's telling the truth... He would have no reason to lie about such a detail. Mm, I mean, hmm... And then she took it out of the, the eye. So where did the eye go? Mizuki. Mizuki stole the eyeball. <laughs> yeah. You're wasting your time. Hey, Iris, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here, but you're wasting your time. What do you mean? The cops already scoured the place. They didn't find any leads, not a single clue. If they had, they would have notified Aiba. Aiba? My partner. Your partner? I don't see anybody. She's here. She's like Alfred. She's right in front of your eyes. Or is she in front of my eyes? But then she'd still be in front of your eyes because I'm in front of your... Mm, whatever. Huh? When I was younger, but not since it closed, Kabasaki is restricted, right? Yes. No one's supposed to be here. Why does everyone say that? Like, as if it's not common knowledge. We know. We know that it's restricted. This amusement park, Bloom Park, is located at the heart of the Kabasaki district. It's, it's like they don't want you to forget, like the, the writer of the game, it's like you don't forget that Kabasaki is restricted. It was closed. This will be important ago. later. The closure was due to an accident at a nearby chemical plant. An explosion caused massive amounts of chemical pollutants to con the government quickly issued evacuation orders. Eventually, the entire district was deemed unsafe for habitation and res therefore, Bloom Park was permanently closed. I see. But a restricted area doesn't mean much if there aren't enough officers to patrol it. Yeah, nobody comes around here. You can just walk in if you want. There's still plenty of ways in. You can even get in by boat. Hell, some people ignore the evac order and are still living here. Really? Are they... okay? <laughs> are they okay? No, they're not okay. I don't know. But if anything happened to them, it'd be their own fault. Are we safe? Nope. We are, yeah. No, oh, okay. Decontamination for this area is basically done. Chemical concentration around here isn't high enough to hurt you. But we drived in, yeah. You could run a marathon here and be okay. But it's still off limits, right? Yes, legally. Legally, yes, because you have to. Mm, do you not know how. Mm, okay. That keeps the media out, at least. I'm glad. It's quieter than it usually is. <laughs> we should go, Iris. We should go. Oh, come on! Just a little longer. No, I'm already in enough trouble bringing a civilian in here. Okay, I guess. Oh, I don't like it. I really don't like the way that this, like, these two characters are interacting on the screen. Especially with the flashback, and now that I know that I know her already, it's like, because Dante only has memories of six years ago, and so the flashback was from, like, way before then. Oh, and they, they like, they pr pretty much like act naturally, like, you know, like a, I shouldn't say like naturally a father and daughter, but I don't know, dude. The, the way, the, oh, fuck me. The flashback really fucked me so bad. Now there's so many possibilities. Dude, she died. Hey, you all right? Are you okay? <laughs> it's the gas. Morning sickness. Morning what? sickness? Excuse me? I'm kidding. <laughs> it's not like I would know. I see. Get on. I'll give you a ride home. Yeah, score. Interesting. Just wondering. Dude, I love his outfit. 
Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? Well, you know... 105 pounds. 105. I see. 105, huh? You can tell just by lifting me? Dude, I love this. Yeah. I... <laughs> Your back is so warm, Oh, okay. Mr. No, no, no. Hold on, Iris. Hold. Get the fuck off me. Get the fuck off me, Iris. <laughs> Holy fuck. Dude, Iba is fantastic. She's like the perfect partner in crime to fuck with people. Dashboard. I didn't check these beforehand. The steering wheel. You know. The dashboard. I'm feeling kind of bored. Guys, I I really, I really, I really don't like the way that sh she's exactly the same as me. This is <laughs> like, of course, like anyone can make pun jokes, right? But so far in the series, only really Dante has shown like an interest. It's it, they're like it, it feels very like they're ham fisting it in, so I can't tell if it's like on purpose, they're, like they're trying to mislead me. Like you know, Iris is not really my daughter, but uh, like with the flashback and with all the with all the similarity, they they show that Iris and Dante have like a lot of like similarities, it's just in this one in this one area slash scene. It almost feels like too much. So I can't really tell if this is like they're gonna throw me for a loop later or what. Seriously? The dashboard. I'm feeling a little bored. Yeah, me too. I'm gonna open the door on the highway. Center console. Glove box. The glove box. You know how stuff always gets beat up when you put it in here? No. Don't you wish they could make these things a little nicer? They're not supposed to get beat up when they put them in there. Hmm. Nothing out the window I can click on, it seems. I, I do have something. Wait, is, was that Iris's leg or is that something else here? There was something else. Oh, gear shift. Here we go. The gear shift. I guess it's just like telling me information about the things. In case you didn't know, Iris, how you feeling? She seems to be doing okay. Let's do a lot to a checkup. Uh, horrible. <laughs> Shame. No. Oh. You should worry about me more. <laughs> you, you started saying horrible out of the blue. It was obviously fake. Looks like you're feeling better now. Maybe I'm just acting. Mm hmm Yeah, I don't think so. What if I threw up right here? You wouldn't dare throw up in my car. I would put it right back where it came from. Ew. That makes me actually want to throw up. <laughs> Shovel it back up and, like, like uh, <laughs> pour it down her throat. That's amazing. Iris opens the passenger window. On the highway, you're gonna make me lose... Dude, this is bad fuel economy. Wait, seriously? No, but I am kind of warm. Have you tried using the AC? The current temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity, 60%. It is unlikely that heat would be a factor. Hmm. Hey, Date. Don't stick your hand out the window. You're gonna get it cut off. They say when you stick your hand out of a car going 100, you get a rush like you're holding D-cups. Dude, she's also, like, really into boobs. Hey, watch it. You'll get your arm ripped off. <laughs> Dude, that's what I said. That's crazy. <laughs> Relax. I'm invincible. It's like, it's like having two Dates like in the car. Plus me, a third. There's, like, three Dates in one car. Didn't you tell me that you're going to die soon? That, that wasn't a joke, though. I don't think that was a joke. It feels strange. Your hand? No, the D not cups. that. It feels like I've met you before. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Oh, fuck me. Well, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. But if you don't get your damn hand back in this car right now... <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> the wind feels nice. Okay, cool. You're weird. What a long car ride, dude. What a long car ride. Jesus. Sagan Residence. Oh, it's a cute little house.
Saturday at 3.09 p.m. Very, like, oddly specific time. You should come in. Uh, no! No, 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 absolutely not. That's my house. Bro, my, my heart just like jumped out of my fucking throat. This is the, this is the Somnium house from Dante's Somnium. No, that's all right. I'm gonna head home. Oh, you don't see it, Dante? Iba, say something, please. Ooh, going home already. Iba, please, say something to me, Iba. I said my goodbyes and turned to leave. But at the corner of my eye, do you see it? Oh, fuck, that's my wife. That's my fucking wife! Oh, shit. Oh, who is this, Iris? She doesn't recognize me. I feel my body freeze. Because that woman, she's... She's the one that was dead in the Somnium! No, it can't be. It can't be. For my mind and body being torn into opposite directions. So I stood there stunned. Iris grabbed my hand. Come on, I'll make some tea. No, no. No, 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 no. This is uncomfortable. And actually, you know what? Because we're about to find something might be crazy, uh, we're going to absolutely cuck you guys and press save and then <laughs> save it for next episode. Because I love me a good cliffhanger. Don't you? Next time, make sure to come back next time so you can find out exactly what Dante's dead wife is doing here. <laughs> In the present day. Say goodbye now. Say goodbye now to Dante's old wife and find out why she doesn't recognize me at all or neither does my daughter <laughs> next time on AI the Somnium Files. But for now, I will bid you all adieu. We saved, we came, we saw, we conquered. What a great play session of AI the Somnium Files. Honestly, I'm, I really do dig like the, the, the short sessions. It, like, leaves so much for the cliffhanger. But yeah, um, that's gonna be me for now. This has been Lazy Shen. Please do consider, if you enjoyed this series so far and you're liking the videos, you know, like, comment, subscribe. You know, it always helps me gauge exactly, you know, how much people are enjoying it. So it really does help me out. And if you'd like you to find out when I post next, because I do post every couple of days so far, um, be sure to press the notification bell so you could never miss a video. I do also stream on Twitch.tv uh, about five, four to five days a week between Wednesdays and Sundays. So the, Bob's your uncle there. Uh, you're probably going to be watching this on Monday. So if you are watching this on Monday, a couple days away, you'll be, you can watch my streams on Twitch.tv. It'll be links down below. You can join the Discord too to hang out with some people. Always a good time in there as well. Hopefully you're enjoying so far, but for now, I will bid you adieu. Until next time, where we find out a very, very strong, <laughs> crazy cliffhanger. And we're only like three hours in. That's actually crazy. But yeah, until next time, guys. Peace. Peace. Later. <laughs>